This is Colin O'Keefe for LXBN TV. As part of our coverage of Legal Tech New York 2014, I am speaking now with Rohit Telwar. He is CEO of Fast Future Research. Rohit, you recently worked on ILTA's Legal Technology Future Horizons project, and you'll be speaking on it uh, at Legal Tech. Can you share some light on what were the, the interesting, most interesting findings that came as a result of it? What was uh, particularly noteworthy from that, that research that was done? Well, the goal of the study was really to help law firms in particular understand how the technology landscape was changing and how advances in information technology could impact law firms over the next decade, how it could help them rethink their strategies, their operations, their business models, and their approach to acquiring, developing, and retaining clients. So there were a number of key issues that came out for us, You know, some very big challenges. The first was very clear sense that at the top of the big law firms now, they're hearing their big global clients say they want their law firms to be geared up to be able to support them on a global basis and to have the systems in place to be able to offer seamless solutions across the planet, to have a mobile workforce that can go anywhere with their clients, to have a knowledge base that supports the client on a global basis, and have that ability to work across jurisdictions. Uh, and technology is seen as a critical enabler of all this. And they're actually encouraging law firms to look at their peers in the accountancy world, in the consultancy world, and in other professional services sectors who are really getting their act together and building this global technology capability. Uh, a second big challenge that really uh, was coming through very clearly was this sense of uh, high levels of uncertainty in the marketplace, uh, the need to get faster to get to solutions delivered. So for example, we're seeing people now in China building hotels in 15 days and the contracts actually taking longer than the construction process. So what they're looking for is in the face of uncertainty, clients are wanting to act faster and they're wanting far more efficiency in the legal process, a re-engineering of many of the legal processes in the same way as those clients are re-engineering their delivery processes. And again, technology is seen as the, being at the heart of that and really technology that extends into the client environment so that you're really understanding what clients are, are trying to do from a business perspective and integrating the legal solutions into that from day one rather than bolting on the legal solution once the client's made a choice. Another uh, fascinating challenge was that in a world where you know law firms are getting exceptional at doing what they do, the technology is standardizing many of the processes What's going to differentiate law firms, many people believe, is this idea of strategic wisdom, really understanding your clients, understanding their environment, understanding what's coming next for them. And technology is seen as playing a critical role in gathering that data, using artificial intelligence to interpret it, and to keep the professionals in the law firm up to date on what's coming up for their clients so they can provide best advice and genuine strategic wisdom. Uh, another um, really important uh, extension of that then is how we develop the magnetism to attract clients and retain them in, an, in a very competitive environment. And service quality is still going to be seen as a differentiator where technology is going to play a critical role in providing total visibility to the client of the status of all their matters, the status of workflow, where the money is being spent, what's left to do and what that's likely to cost. But also uh, we're seeing new entrants come in who have no respect for the old rules of the game and are offering new business models, new arrangements. So there's an expectation that part of the attraction for new businesses, uh, particularly those who are emerging in the digital economy, is that they're looking for innovative new business models in the same way as they're bringing innovative new business models to their marketplace. They want their professional service providers to share more of the risk uh, and to bear you know, a, a more equal share of risk and reward in the relationship. So we're looking at all, all sorts of alternative fee arrangements that are only really made possible by smart technology and, and very good analytical tools to help us understand the true cost and true potential profit of any alternative fee arrangement.
I see. I see. Well, I look forward to seeing uh, the full research and the full project being unveiled and, and spoken to at Legal Tech. Uh, once again, that was Rohit Telwar. He is CEO of Fast Future Research. For more of our coverage of Legal Tech 2014, be sure to visit us at lxpn.com. Thank you for joining me today, Rohit. My pleasure.